Check it, Blade. What uh, what uh, episode is this? Seventy. What? Whoa. We are seventy years old. <laughs> seventy in. We're seventy years old. Uh, That's podcast years. You know how they do dog years. Seventy yep, hours. Yep. yep. yep, yep seventy yep, hours yep. of this. Well, welcome back into the den. <laughs> Ow. I'm good at this. Don't. No. Yeah, go ahead. If, you got it. Brent's injured. We'll talk about that in yeah. a minute. Welcome to Lions Den, episode number seventy. Please continue to rate and review at Apple Podcasts. Leave us a five-star rating. Leave us a review, and Will will power through it while learning how to read. And, of course, there's uh, YouTube, Lion's Den with Brent Moore and Jason Collins, and our second channel, Clips Channel, YouTube Clips. By the way, the WAP reaction got taken down. Unfortunately, they blocked it. Because we're rebels, baby, pirate yeah. radio style. We were, uh, we so were you can a... stop us, we'll have more. That's right. We, yeah. had a, we were at a quarter million views, and they were like, that's enough. Yeah, so if you're looking for WAP, it's gone. But uh, you Can't shut us but, down, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, there'll be more. And, of course, <laughs> patreon.com slash the Lions and Pod for members only shit. All right. We got a review? We got, let's do two, because we're, we're, we're getting a lot of reviews, so let's knock out two real quick. Oh, I like uh, that. This, this uh, subject line is, I can't stop watching it. Uh, this is uh, by, this is the, the person who wrote this review is, why is it SK addicting? SK addicting? Don't know. SK. Yeah. Probably a typo. SK addicting. That's probably what it is. I never okay. had the desire for any podcasts, but when I heard about this one on Insta, I couldn't help but watch. I have to say, I became very addicted to this podcast. Jason wants Danny, and Brent wants mac and cheese. Gotta love them. Who's Danny? Danny, Danny H, maybe? Yeah, Danny I H. I like it just a Danny. We're just going back to now Danny. Like, like he's just some guy. Yeah, like Daniel H. Hernandez. Hernandez. Yeah. And what do I want from him? You just want Danny. Someone's been sneaking in my dreams. Yeah, and I and want then... mac and cheese all the time. That's That oh. one's, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fair. fair. Damn it, I think I'm going to have to get mac and cheese for dinner tonight now. Oh, that's that's Sit nice. in front of the TV, watch the debates with a bowl of mac and cheese in front of me. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll put bacon bits in it. And a onesie. Oh. No onesie. This last review is from uh, Doinky Boinky. Nice. <laughs> I mean, come on. What's better than These that? These names it's are fantastic. Great. Subject line is hello. Uh, I would, would, would be really funny. Hi. Wait. Would be funny if all... Subject line was what? Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, so... Doinky Boinky. What is doinky, it? Doinky Boinky. Doinky Boinky. It's like a Simpsons character. Yo, man, I doinked and boinked that, that girl. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> First I doinked, then I boinked. <laughs> she was in a lot of pain. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Took her to the emergency room. Doctor said, "What happened?" She said, "I got doinked and boinked." Yeah. <laughs> Were you? And then the doctor said, "Were you with Brent Morin last oh. night?" <laughs> yeah, I got hooked. First he doinked, then I had to boink. It's like bail. <laughs> what? He, what? He got, he said then she, she got, got hooked. Yeah, she got hooked. Oh, <laughs> that's how she got doinked and boinked. She got hooked and yeah. boinked. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what this person says is, uh, I would like to say this podcast is funny, and I will. This podcast is funny. Shout out Danny H. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Danny H, baby. Danny H. Hey, and Danny H, get better, man. We understand, yes. you know, you're having some body image issues, right. and you're really trying to get yourself together, but Take we're here easy. for you. Come on over. Hydro, hydro cut is a is a real danger. Hydroxy cut, Hydroxy is cut. very dangerous in large quantities, so please yes. don't. Take, and what was he taking it with? Coffee. With coffee. McDonald's coffee. Or, or you could say it's oh, very dangerous also, in small quantities with small bodies. When, so. I hear, <laughs> when I hear people, like when I hear somebody like that say, I he OD'd on McDonald's coffee and hydroxy cut, my yeah. first thought is, isn't he rich? Like, they, yeah. Yeah, go, to, go to fucking a Blue lot. Bottle or something. so <laughs> many more options. Yeah. Go to Blue Bottle. I also just hey, love. Hey, go in the gym that you probably have in your house. I yeah. also, I also, when I hear he OD'd on hydroxy cut and McDonald's coffee, I think of it like my Yorkie is in the vet. You know what I mean? Like, like that's, it just seems like something like, what happened to your Yorkie? Oh, he got into the hydroxy cut and some coffee. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. And you can just picture Danny. Danny's in the hospital. Danny's at the hospital shaking like a Yorkie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cats around him. Yeah. <laughs> He's so goddamn cute, you know? Oh, <laughs> like no, get better guy. if you're get not better, already man. better. Danny so, H, we're here for you. That's our boy. Come on in, man. Yeah. I've been on the hydroxy cut. I know what it's like. Same. Get, I get a little shaky. Oh, you both have done. I, age, I got a little. Well, you got to lose weight quick. Got to give Danny props. I didn't have the balls to go in on the McDonald's coffee. At yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> I, it wouldn't be my option with the shakiness. Of, <laughs> right. My first thought on hydroxy cut isn't, oh, you know what I need? <sighs> Something to really wake me up. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, maybe I should have a bottle of wine to fucking stop shaking <laughs> yeah. and convulsing. There's how stupid I am with that shit. You know what my <laughs> thoughts were when I was taking hydroxy cut? 
I could eat anything and everything because I'm on high cut. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Give me a hydroxy cut and a triple cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. like if you eat a salad at night, you're like, oh, tomorrow I can have a double bacon cheeseburger because right. like, yeah. I got a salad. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm healthy. <laughs> I'm all good. I'm all good. Oh, I thought I hydroxy cut. My salads cut. are so unhealthy, dude. Mm, look, it breaks down food. You can lose weight. I guess I'll get... A number two, a number five, a number nine. Because it's going to work a lot faster in there. So they'll break it down quick. And then next thing Man, you know, you just like It made puffed. it so much more easier to, to gain weight when they just started numbering shit. Because when I was a kid, yeah. they, I remember, I'm old enough to remember when they first started having value meals. Before, you just have to go in and go, I need to get two cheeseburgers and fries. But now you can just go, one. <laughs> and they're like, you know what this fat fuck wants? Give him the one. <laughs> well, you don't even need to learn how to read. No, you know? just have to know numbers one and, through six. Point, yeah, yeah. Duh. One. <laughs> That's number it. Da 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 da. da, da. But, so it's a yeah. one and a two. Da, da, huh? <laughs> and actually, you don't even need to know how to know numbers because you're right. Because now they got the kiosk too. So all you got to yeah. do is picture. You know, just <laughs> boom, boom, boom. That's what's hilarious Man, about we Denny's. We really are on our way. That's how. You, like, let me tell you the the, the, the the restaurants to go to: Denny's and Norm's. Here's Norms. why, because they have pictures of the food. Oh yeah. oh yeah, you know what you're getting. You know Go. you're not at a high class restaurant when this. you're like this. Well, and, wait. and it's always when you point. Here's the thing: when I'm servers, when I'm pointing at the food, that means I don't want to say it out loud, so I don't need you to say it out loud. So when I'm at Norms and I go like this, one of these, and then you out loud go, "Oh, you mean the cheeseburger quesadilla?" <laughs> now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's 3 a.m. and I way, have children. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the cheeseburger quesadilla I mean, at Norm's is real, sounds, and it's fucking delicious. That did it's sound good. good. I was like, <laughs> you couldn't have just made that up. I mean, that has That's, to be dude, something. You ever? I used to, in college, I would get uh, from Chipotle. I don't think they do this anymore, but a quesadilla. Oof. So I'd take, take a quesadilla, and then just put all the burrito shit in that, and oh, wrap yeah. that shit up, and go hard. Isn't hard. that a burrito? Basically burrito, but with a fucking cheese layer. It's like uh, a double t- oh, wow. tortilla. So it's a hey, quesadilla. Yes, you wrap oh, dude. <laughs> Whatever I'm fat oh. shit. <laughs> mm, so um, good. Either way, I'm going back to work. Officially, I could say that now. Oh, nice. Uh, shooting a, a show for CBS in December. Thank you. Yay. And uh, the reason I bring that up and the reason I'm wearing this brace is because now I have to Get rid of some of the fatty habits from yep. quarantine. And what and you the... can't see is Brent's got an ice pack on his shoulder yeah, right now. Which Jason very My... cutely put on his back. I had oh. to put back because I can't reach because I'm in stabbing pain. Mm-hmm. But I re-injured some uh, old injury, I guess. My body, because of quarantine, and this is the longest I've gone with just eating and not doing things while still getting older. Mm-hmm. So the things that I used to do all the time... They ain't working. Because nope. remember last, on Monday, my, my Achilles was hurting and my knee was hurting. What have I been telling you lately? <laughs> Shit is different It's now. different now. It's it's fun for me to watch Brett go through this, <laughs> yeah. as I've known him since he was a kid. Yeah. And now he's in his 30s, and yeah. I'm like, hey. Now I have a fucking brace. Things are happening slower now, aren't they, Like buddy? I just pitched for the Dodgers. Yeah. Like It's like, no, I didn't. I was outside with bands the good news hurting is, myself. Yeah. The good news is you are, at, you, you are still at an age where you can get back in shape. Yeah. It's just not like this anymore. No. It used to be like... So I have time. First of all, but... I remember when we were younger, you could eat anything and you never gained a pound. Can't gain a it's kind pound. Of that's what you're that's at. The a best. Bit. I'm gonna. I had it still at your age. Ask you to stop like whistling that. and pointing like that. Or I'm gonna come over there. Yeah, forget. You know, there was a time we both were like that. So you yeah. get ready. And we okay. now we can't whistle. <laughs> yeah, actually, but, like, it hurts too much for me to yeah. whistle right now. Ow, right. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, fucking, fucking, fucking. Man, so the reason hurt. he has the ice pack on the shoulders is because somebody put the Sour Patch Kids on the top shelf. <laughs> and I actually <laughs> threw them out yesterday. What? I not those. Not them. Give them to me. Don't throw them out. Oh, no, no, no. no. Give them to the no, guy. No, this was the them. bigger bag because the other one's gone. Yeah. The, uh, oh, the thinner one. Throw oh, wow. Wings. That's different, huh? But um, <laughs> <laughs> This is so entertaining. It sucks. But uh, yeah, no, I was just like, you know what, man? I keep digging my hand into this, this bag. I went, just throw it out. Because yeah. you got to get this shit right by December. Because I, I keep having dreams I'm going to get fired, which, you know, who knows? I won't. I'll be fine. Wait, what? About, but this is killing me. What about your trainer? Remember they gave you a trainer? You can't do any of that stuff because of COVID. Yeah. So, so do it on your it's own. just doing it myself. It's not, It's fine. Here's, I have 10 pounds first, to lose. It's nothing. But, oh, yeah. But first it's week killing of training, me right now. The first week of training for Brent is this. Just pushing the plate away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pushing the plate away. Well, that's I, yeah. still the hardest thing because we're it not is, performing yeah. enough. Yeah, I'm so then I just go, man, I actually worked out really hard. I swam. I did this. We should eat some raviolis, pink sauce. Let's mm-hmm. get some t- turkey bolognese. I'm lean turkey bolognese. All the carbs. Every, yeah. And then it's just, I carbo load sometimes. but. <laughs> I'll be fine when we do it. I don't fuck that stuff up. But right now, if this keeps happening, if I'm hurt every time I try to do something, I don't know how it's gonna work. <laughs> You're at that's. I wonder if that's a. Th- 
Now that I'm thinking about it, I just found I just bought a uh, a, a DVD player for my my laptop because yep. I have the MacBook Air and it doesn't yep. have a. So I bought a little external one because I found a bunch of old sets from me doing stand up, and I sent sent it to you guys. Yeah. And it's when I was overweight. Oh yeah. I was 34. Really? I was 35. 35. 35. Oh, yeah, 36 yeah, years old. Yeah, that was old. back then. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's I, the age uh, because it's right after the because you start getting out of that age where you I could do anything. Yeah. Blah, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. And then you know your body just can't keep up. I guess is what happens, and it just yeah. goes to slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. A couple yards go. Bang. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and there's boom, nothing boom, to boom, do boom. for seven and a half, eight months. So yeah. you're just sitting here, and I'm hitting the age. And it's like I'm not doing the same workout routines that I used to do. We're not on the road. We're not, you know, I'm not shooting a show. I don't have to think about how I look for an audition. There's nothing yeah. in my head. So then it's just me, Curb, mac and cheese, and mm-hmm. then, you know, love you guys to death because then fans send fatty habits. So I go, we're doing it together then. Yeah. So then I could eat that shit too. And then five pounds of Sour Patch come. I go, well, let's live, you know. <laughs> then feet tingle, you know. Head feels oh, weird. No. <laughs> that can't be good. No. My feet are tingling. Then work out, wake up today, going, oh, oh, oh. Here's how I knew it was bad for me. Ready? <laughs> when my legs started falling asleep while I was on the toilet. Oh, wow. My feet oh, boy. It would like. <gasps> really? Yeah. I've had it's, that. Why? Because the blood's getting cut off in the sitting position mm. because I weighed a metric ton. <laughs> Man. I forget when you used to be big until you sent oh, that photo. Man. That was a funny time that, for Jason. I have to admit, oh, I, someone someone sent sent me a comment asking me to stop make and I and I oh, had yeah. to clarify that I'm I at one point was overweight and I mostly make fun of myself. But yeah, but that, like that's you were. why I say it. I was, yeah, I was a you were a bigum, mm-hmm. big a boy, bigum, big mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> I mean, but somehow, shockingly, Will still breathes the loudest. In the I know, mic. that's crazy. So you, that is a... You breathe like a heavy guy. You breathe like Trump walking up the stairs after yeah. he got home from the hospital. I don't know why. Yeah. What always feels like, I could tell, he, it's all on his face. It's one of the reasons I love him. But like when I feel he's getting bored with the topic, oh, yeah, I can always it's tell. just so, it's yeah. so physically you obvious. To, you never have and to you guess. can hear it. He's just... <sighs> it's so nice. It's like, the, only thing that's missing, the only thing that's missing is this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, as you guys are talking, <laughs> you might as well just turn everything off. If he just does this, oh, I'm so <laughs> bored, just like Boring. a kid trying to learn math. Check mark. Check. Nope. <laughs> That's kind I of becoming the charm of this show. That's weird because I didn't even spell out. It's not in yet, is it? Nope. It's fun to say almost, charm. Yeah. Almost, I almost brought. You're good now. I know because I'm holding it tight. Oh. How about now? Yeah, I almost brought my own. How about now? Oh. Yeah, I almost brought another cable in. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Also, I just want to let people know right before this too. I I got these these things because CBD is supposed to help with with injuries, mm-hmm. right? So I had these little mints. Yep. They're like two point five milligram mints, CBD mints that I just I took right before we did the pod, and Jason took one too, but it definitely kicked in a little bit for yeah, me. I'm a little. I'm feeling, good. <laughs> I'm feeling I'm a little now. feeling a little silly right feeling, now. Really? Yeah, I should take one too. I'm feeling yeah. happy. Could if you want. Maybe. I mean, I can't I don't... stop smiling for some reason. That's great. Help I have such a low tolerance with this. I know. I oh, wish back I is that. actually, it's all the pains in the back, bro. Yeah. Check. Oh, okay. All now, right. now you can hear <laughs> it. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm a little high. Whatever. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> speaking of high, not even a transition mm-hmm. I was going to make. Um, but uh, speaking of NFL, COVID, Patriots, more COVID cases. Stefan Gilmore, our, uh, our best player on the team, has uh, now got COVID and Cam. So it's like, can't who's... a fucking punter get it? Like, why do we need our favorite <laughs> like guys? Punter. When do they play again? Or are well, they? Well, they're supposed to play Sunday, but then two Titans got it, and now they're getting worried about Mahomes because Stefan Gilmore was hugging Mahomes after the game. So oh, I was like, what a mess. Stop so, hugging. So Fuck. now it's like, uh oh, is is the best player in the league going to fucking have it yeah. now? It's so be like the NBA. It's hard, though. There's 100 guys they on each team. Out, true. Yeah, and they love true. hugging. Yeah. And, and, smacking <laughs> and they have to tackle and shit all the time, too. They have too. to tackle and the hug and They can tackle and, and cough, just... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, Hot oil baths together. Are we talking about the same thing? I'm pretty sure that's the NFL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I was a quarterback and I was getting a, uh, about to get sacked, I would just go, I have COVID, I have COVID, I have COVID, I have COVID, I have COVID. And then I have throw COVID. A touchdown. COVID, gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm serious, I'm serious, I'm serious, I'm serious, I have COVID. That's the name of the play. COVID! Oh, man. COVID-19! <laughs> Coach McVay of the Rams. <laughs> Wait, that's so If you're listening, <laughs> yeah. run a COVID play. Yeah, run a COVID. COVID! 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 Uh, COVID-19! 19! COVID-19! <laughs> COVID. Omaha! COVID! 
I have COVID, 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 I have COVID. Everybody just lets them go. The and the Rams have won 136 <laughs> to zero. <laughs> That's oh, actually man. a great strategy. For... Imagine whispering it across the line before that ball's. <laughs> I would. Oh, I would be that guy right man, away. Don't get near me. I got COVID. <laughs> you ready for that? Yeah. I if you COVID. touch the quarterback, I'm going to spit on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that's how you get job security. Yeah. If you touch the quarterback, I'm going to spit on you. I have COVID. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm about Dude, to buy you... a house. I have COVID-19. I have 19 COVID. Okay. I have COVID. <laughs> I have the most COVID on the team. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't touch anybody. Yeah, we all have COVID. Set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come oh, on, man. No, oh, sides. It's him. We're not making light. <laughs> We're not making light. No, we, are. we are. We <laughs> are. We're making light. Fuck it. <laughs> I guess. I guess if you put it, COVID nineteen. <laughs> I mean, why aren't they doing that? Set. At least make the players go, uh, well. Well, they say shit like Halle Berry. Like, I think of the Rams. They Remember they, they say, say Halle, Halle Berry. Berry. Omaha. Uh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. say COVID. No. Um, I mean, I would. Halle Berry. And everybody goes, brr. Funny just saying random actors and actresses. What, are they, what if they're just saying Halle Berry to distract the demon? Yeah. Halle Berry naked. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, the, the coolest with uh, Jared Goff for that, too, was when he would do that. Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Like that, and then Halle Berry like responded to it like, "Oh, oh thanks, Jared." And oh. I'm thinking like, "Imagine you're like 22 and, and yeah. you're like, oh." And I would think I well, have a chance. A, yeah, hey, she's a Bond girl. She's a Bond girl, and she still looks the same. She's everything. What was that one with her and? Uh, I'm saying COVID nineteen uh, like that really Billy hurt Bob. my back. Oh, Monsters Ball. It's a that's, very serious movie though, just to get dude. to that sex scene. Holy <laughs> shit! A lot of fast forward and happen when. I, oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, you would just be you'd just be crying your eyes out, and then you get horny for a couple minutes, <laughs> and then you just feel I mean, like shit in, the rest of the day. But you intense. brag about it. It was with Billy Bob, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm right. um, I ain't gonna fuck you, out of bear. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Bob always had that charm. That's not it, but that voice isn't bad. I <laughs> kind of like that a little yeah. bit. Well, never mind. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little stoned now. <laughs> from this, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, but that was that's all that basically happened to me because we do this every two days. So just hurting myself trying to get back into something, and then the Patriots keep uh, the best players keep getting uh, sick. How is Bill Belichick not sick? The guy wears rags for for an outfit. Like, how is he not sick? I wanted to see him instead of wearing a mask with like an old seventies headband just pulled down around his <laughs> yeah, just right here. Seriously, he sleeves he, or yeah. the sleeve that he cut off. He's just got it like this because <laughs> <laughs> he barely wears a mask. I think they talk to him because he's always got it down like a beak. Did you see Harbaugh? In that game uh, uh, yeah. last week, he pulled his mask off and just starts screaming at the ref. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would have been so mad if I was that ref. I'd be like, Kobe! Yeah. I posted a photo of him where his whole mask was just off to the side, and I was just like, <laughs> lost his mind. Like, he just snapped. Oh, just man. snapped. I um, mean, think about that, though. There's a lot of yelling in coaching. Yeah. And that must just get so annoying with that mask on. It's just an impossible thing, too, with, like, the NBA is almost there, COVID. Uh, the NBA is almost there. They got one more game basically until the until uh, Lakers win, mm -hmm. and then they got away with the whole thing COVID free. You know, right. it's pretty impressive. But like baseball and football, it's kind of impossible. You're going home. You outside. There's so many people. Yeah. It's like now they're allowing. Did you see this shit? Miami, the the governor is allowing full sixty five thousand fans into the into the stadium. Why? Just really? after the Raiders, Titans, and the Patriots all just had COVID cases this week. Hey. They're allowing Florida. Why? I know. Always. I so Florida. Always Florida. Weird. And Weird. they were just the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning, I think, won the Stanley Cup or something. And there's video of uh, fans of people drinking out of the cup, like just cup the cup. I'm like, Tampa, Ugh. why? <laughs> Come drink the COVID potion. Jesus, Florida. Could Florida just... Stop. You know what? You know I talk stop about. Being so Florida. Hey, you know what yeah. Florida is. Hey, Florida, stop being so 2020. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I was gonna say Florida is inconsistent the, is our yeah. problem. Florida has been consistently shitty like yeah. this for so long. <laughs> you know. I agree. They constantly are. Weird. Sixty-five thousand no capacity. No offense to our listeners that are in Florida. I love going to Florida. We love have great shows Florida. in Florida. I have family in Florida. But I don't want to go but, there right now. But I'm just like, guys, haven't you learned from the Miami uh, the baseball That's team? Odd man, not even like a a, a, a limited capacity. All of Full. them. Full. Allowed. Sixty five thousand capacity. What their, capacity. what their numbers are like. Let's see. Jesus, Brent facts. Um, Please be right about this. Whoa, Sometimes crazy. I wonder if I'm dreaming these things. Um, Miami. Right? Let's go Miami. COVID. It's just sure right after wanted. there were cases, they do this. Mm -hmm. That's what's so weird to me. Yeah, I don't understand it. So Miami, they got how many a new lot. cases? Yeah, two thousand two hundred cases. 
Type in the Miami Dolphins. That's I want to see if I was right though. That's a lot. Before I just lot spewed to that to the internet. The Dolphins or the Bucks? what? Do you, wait, sorry. Dolphins. What Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. Right? Yeah, Dolphins. Would you say Bucks? Yeah, that's Tampa. Oh, Tampa. Wait, Bucks. what about them? What are we looking up here? Uh, stadium access. Oh. Uh. It's interesting. Mm. Dolphins reportedly. Dolphins reportedly get clearance to host a full capacity at stadium, but will stick with thirteen thousand fans. Oh. But oh. they got clearance for the full? Yeah. Why? So they're going to do the 13,000. Well, at least the they governor, were like, governor okay, said to clear we'll it or something. Yeah. Maybe it's money. It's the governor saying go for it? The Dolphins didn't ask for and don't plan to go full, to go 65K full capacity, um, source says. But the Florida governor, Ron, doesn't matter, gave them clearance to do so now. Uh, but <laughs> Dolphins feel more comfortable continuing their plan. He just wants Trump to talk about him in his yeah. next speech. Yeah, so 13K, that's worth it. And it also, it's money. It's something with yeah, money. It's all it money. Is. Everything's yeah. money. I mean, there are, there, there are people are, you guys want to go to a losing game? a lot of money. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Honestly, though, SoFi Stadium is so freaking beautiful. I know. If somebody said, hey, it's open, let's go, I'd be like, I would go. All right. Was it the new Maybe I'd new Ram Stadium? Oh, my like God. Down, yeah. is it, where, where is it? Inglewood? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Inglehood. It's right next to uh, the Great Western Forum. It's right next to the Forum. Mm, cool. Yeah, it's. I wonder if they will since other. Have you watched are a Ram game up. yet? Uh-huh. It's 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 stunning. It looks like something out of the future. It's Dumb. crazy. It looks like you're watching a video game. The, the yeah. field is so pristine and That's it's, awesome. Ah, uh, it's so beautiful. I can't. Yeah, wait. no, it looks. Year, it does year. look super awesome. Next year, right, Brent? <laughs> yeah. Next year, yes. box seats. Next yes. year, hey. Although I'll be a hypocrite if, if they, we got invited tomorrow, there. we're I'm going. going. <laughs> we'll just be with our masks on, and then then you'll see me going. What the fuck? Pulling yeah. my mask down. You go, right. I mean, Brent. Come on. <laughs> and then I'll be in a Since fucking webcam all... doing the show with you guys. Hey, yeah. guys. <laughs> Since you announced it, we're going to go to the CBS, CBS box. CBS box. If I, get, I wonder if they have one. That'd I feel like everybody in LA yeah. has one. Let's get that our show is... picked up. Everybody root for the show to happen. Yeah, what's the, what's, are you comfortable talking about like the process of like how it works with a, shooting a pilot just for people who don't know like what that means exactly? Like sh- shooting a pilot now? Yeah, or like when you guys shoot a pilot, like then what happens? Like what do you wait uh, for then? Well, long story short, because it's, it's, yeah, they're like, and it's different now because it's, everything's been pushed so far. Basically, we're going to have to shoot it. I think it, it's a limited crew, skeleton crew, so just cameramen, us, maybe hair and, I think hair and makeup. And then uh, is it multi- just the is show it multicam? Runner. Yeah, multicam, but no audience. Are they going to laugh track? I think I, they'll have to on this first one, mm. which sucks. But it's also you know Can you get we to come? work. We'll laugh. Will and I, I don't know. We'll I don't laugh. know if anybody's we'll allowed. Harder. And I'll be getting tested like three, four times a week or something. It'll be like a crazy amount of time they'll have to test us. Mm. But uh, and I guess it's like in, which is good. Production. Yeah, I mean that's. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking like I've, there's no way you don't leave the house. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, but who knows? You know, yeah. I'm the kind of person that would accidentally insert something funny. Okay. But uh, yeah, that's basically the process. And usually it takes months to figure out if you're actually gonna they're gonna pick it up. They have to the whole network has to see it. Then they have to put it through. Sometimes they put it through like tests with people watching it and judging it like strangers. Hmm. And then it's what's it fit in the schedule. But with this process, we're doing it right before Christmas, and then you go into the new year. There is a chance. You know, they can hold us for a while after that, but there is a chance they might be f- faster just because yeah. everything's so last minute. And the, so, what looks good too is that so many shows were on the chop- chopping block. Oh and yeah. yeah, disappeared. A yeah. lot of pilots gone. A lot yeah. of shows like Glow and stuff too. They're not even going to do the fourth season of Glow, and which yours I thought was crazy. Survived that. Yeah, which we great. survived that's, that. That's so that's a big. good that's, sign. That's big. That's why I was like, we got to get right here because yeah. they're taking a shot, and then you hurt yourself and. Now, the Saw fact that you're shooting the pilot, that means the pilot will air. No. No, no that's the thing. Like they, If if the pilot will only air if they decide to pick us up. But hmm. the fact that we're like the only CBS show that's they're going to shoot right now it looks before good. the new year, that's a good that's look. That's awesome. Fuck. I'm we'll so see. happy to hear yeah, that. That's great. That's awesome. I mean, it's it's. I can't give anything away about the show because I don't know rules. But I can tell you, it's me, Oliver Hudson, and Malin Ackerman. Uh, and I'll, Vanessa I'll... Lachey. Darth Vader's on it. And Vanessa yeah. Lachey. So basically three very Darth beautiful people. Darth Vader. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, Brent, you know what? Three beautiful four. people. Four. And then four beautiful, four people, beautiful you know? people. I want a fucking rascal scooter. I want to come in like, and just to see, hi guys. Whoa. You know, like, no let me ma- play more. Mask around the forehead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me get a chin mask. Speaking of, speaking of uh, scooter, I guess, you know, I saw fucking whiz by my street on an electric scooter yesterday. Huh. Carrie Rhodes. <laughs> On an oh, electric that scooter? Bike? On that bike. He posted we're, that... na- we're neighbors, and so we, I see him all the time, and I saw him literally go... Zoom, like, that thing is thing. I was like, so dope. I was like, yo, Karen, he's like, oh, what Wait, up? Wait, what, what, what is it? It's, it's a like e-bike. a little electric... It's called an e-bike. I'll, I'll put up a picture bike. there so people can see it. I'll show you. It's just like a little... 
really cool. Oh, I that, want yeah. one. I really almost commented on this thing. Give yeah. me that. It was How so much fun. is it? Uh, we'll teach just, you how to uh, ride a bike on it. Yeah, you don't have to pedal. Ah, uh, my God, going fifty two. Yeah. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> just turns into a Hyundai. <laughs> Well, he's, I messaged, I commented on his thing. He was like, he was like, dude, I almost crashed when you saw me. <laughs> I gotta. How much is it? Look it up real quick. I, I don't see even know how much called. they are. Let me go to his Instagram. And, e-bike. And see what, is it e-bike? I think. I think I know what you're talking about. Those things kind of move quick. Oh, he was cooking, dude. I doubt somebody like Carrie would have like a little slow pokey one, you know. That's right. Yeah. Uh, oh, mm. little. Oh, that's pocket. annoying. All right, fine. You win, internet. Always. Hold on. Just so many hoops to jump through, you know? Here we go. It is called... Man, he posts so many... Here, I got it. Here. This oh, one. that there. I yeah, I've seen those things around. That's a pretty and dope one. Neza. Neza. Yeah. He's just cruising look around how, the street. Look how that. cool he looks on that I thing. know, that's And happy. Dope. That is one happy man. He's yeah. great. So I saw him on our street, because we live on the same street, and he would just whiz by me. It was so funny. I was like, oh, shit, Gary. It's a cool look that up. Neza, the name Neza of it. Bike. Yeah. yeah, curious yeah. how much. Give me one of them. Oh, the, fifteen hundred. This uh, might be the. I, actually, I, I, I have guessing a, more. I have a bicycle that's eleven hundred. Yeah. When I used to do those things. I have a car that's worth about eleven hundred bucks. <laughs> well, it's so funny that now we're just not we're like not even pedaling anymore. Yeah. How bad do those <laughs> models in that picture look compared to Carrie on that thing? I know. I just oh, get carry, man. Just Let's get, get them. Let's get these guys blurry and in the background. Yeah. Shit. I wonder how fast I can get that. I don't have the money for that. I don't. I, don't I want know. one. But also the do? laziest way to bike. I know. Just you just. Assume. But it had pedals. It has yeah. pedals, so you pedal and then. Oh, and it's then like it an just, old. That's... How fast does it go? Uh, they used to have those back in the day. They're called go peds. <laughs> I just like the name of that. Yeah, it was go a pets. scooter. It was like a gas-powered scooter, but it had pedals, and you pedaled to get the engine going, and then he went. Huh. Go ped. I think so that's like I think 35 I'm miles it right. an hour. Yeah. That's like the bird. I mean, the right? bird. It's kind of like the birds a little bit. And the bees. See what how fast it is for 1500 bucks. You can get a dirt bike for Am that, I can't you? Am saying that right? Let's no. see. It's kind of fucking dangerous to ride around here, though. Don't you think? Oh my God. With all the cars? Yeah. I mean, bicycles alone freak me out around here. Electric oh. fat bike. Oh, wait. Hmm. Look at uh, that dog. Oh, that's like uh, one of those. Really serious. One. That one that up go- to forty. Oh no, it's up to forty-five miles per charge. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to say that. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. So, so that's a motorcycle. Pounds, well, I, know. Well, I want to see the <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I want to see how fast it goes. <laughs> Neza was it called? Neza. I mean, hey, we can have a pick a that little bit of a better name. Little. But, that thing uh, is uh, little, but it looked cool. I can't yeah. see. It doesn't say how. Uh, how fast? Weirdly, so like specs. I mean, make it. Is that a thing? Yeah, put that on the. Th- isn't that like a appeal of how fast it can go? Yeah, right. How fast it can go? Yeah, this fast, fastish. Rad fast. battery pack. It's got the rad battery pack. It's radical. Seven hundred. I mean, motor power seven hundred and fifty W. Oh, okay. I could do the math. So seven hundred fifty W uh, times two seventy five uh, by the fourth to the seventh. Yep. That's about thirty uh, three point four kilowatts mm. of compulsion. I'm guessing twenty something miles per hour. 20 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. I mean, on, it says on an e-bike, you know, 20 miles an hour, but I don't know yeah. if that's the same thing. That's what I forgot to carry the two. That's so, you know, it's actually say. around. Yeah, you were close. <laughs> so, actually, how fast will a 1,000 W electric bike go? And that's 30 miles an hour. So, if it's 750, that's like 25 or something. 25, shit. That's not bad. Not bad, yeah. dude. That's not bad for not having to move, I, you know? Yeah, I'm going to get a Neza, I think. We should just get a couple of them, get them custom paint jobs. Lions Den and just ride that shit around. Man, I should, this is the game. kind of shit I should be shopping for. You should see the stuff I'm looking at on Amazon. What are you looking for? Robot I robot vacuums. <laughs> yeah, you're responsible. I, I'm, irresponsible. I got all excited about. Yeah, I should get irresponsible. You got to get silly gotta, and irresponsible with me. You have two drones though. I, I do have two drones, and I flew my drone yesterday for a little while. I tried going from. I wanted to do this shot from way way high up over my neighborhood, down into my backyard and into the back door. <laughs> Oh my god! I crashed. He's it learning. So, I crashed it so hard. <laughs> it went, I went to go into the house and it just hit the door sill. And then Elaine is sitting on the back patio. I look back and she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just not too long before that, I had it super high and I made it go really far. And Elaine goes, "Don't you ever get nervous? Something's gonna happen." I go, "Nah, I'm a lot better at this than I used to be." And then it crashed it. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Yeah, I'm looking at. Uh, I looked at this thing yesterday that I was so excited about. This will tell you how, where I'm at in my life. A uh, 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 a vacuum. That it it what is it what is it called when it's not moving? It's a stationary stationary vacuum. Fuck. See what I'm saying. That was kind of hard, though. Yeah, you're making hard. You're making hard words. It would be hard if you said. What's it called? They have them in. Yeah, they have them in barber shops and and hair salons, so that you literally just sweep stuff up to it and it it sucks it up. But they have they got these really cool looking ones for the home now. See how excited I'm getting? Yeah, I know. This is. And it sits against the wall. It looks like R2D2. It's really fucking cool. And you just sweep dust up to it. <laughs> and it gets. But I was thinking, I'm like, I want to get a stationary like that. And then I want to get a zoom, the little round guy. Yeah, the iRobot robot thing. I'm worried that Bugsy's going to shit on it or something. but Or attack it. I'm looking at that kind of stuff. I'm looking at iRobot. That's I'm responsible. At electric, I'm looking at electric yeah. battery powered lawnmowers. I got to get irresponsible, dude. I need to look at hang gliders. I need to yes. look at hang gliders. Well, I don't know if hang gliders. I need to squirrel look at suits. Squirrel suits. Squirrel suits. You know what a squirrel yeah. suit is? Those f- flying suits. Yeah, don't. I should be looking at that kind of we stuff. Gotta be on I'm the edge. only 49 years old, almost 50. In a yeah, that's months. young. Get a cabin, like a, mm-hmm. just a, a weird cabin yeah. somewhere that's hard to get to. <laughs> yeah. You know, just see. But you, you can only go. get to the cabin via squirrel suit or hang gliding. Squirrel suit or hang gliding. Or and then when I get to the cabin, mountain bikes. And when I get to the cabin, what's, gets, what's in the cabin? I robot vacuum. I stationary. robot vacuum. That's why it looks nice, even mm-hmm. though we we purchase it together and we go there once in four years. Yeah, and it's just, you know one That's of those like purchases. One, yeah. one of like, those irresponsible. It's like buying a purchase. boat with a buddy. Let's yeah. both get a boat. When are yeah. you taking it out? I haven't been out that thing in two years. (laughs) (laughs) Just sitting in my driveway. Let's get a ski house. When was the last time you went to the ski house? We never went. (laughs) That's just a monthly payment now. (laughs) Yeah. There was another murder in our cabin. (laughs) And in in your in your banking information for that monthly payment, it just says dream. Dream. (laughs) Paying for that dream once a month. Or just friendship. Yeah, friendship kind of. (laughs) Yeah. 2020 has been the year of things happening that are completely out of your control. Mm-hmm. But do you know what you can control? What is that? Shaving your bush. Uh-huh. I knew and that. our sponsors, Manscaped, are here to remind you to do so. That's right. Brent, when's the last time you did it? It's funny you bring that up. It was yesterday, actually, at about 1 p.m. in the valley, valley heat. I had Yacht Rock on. I was naked in my backyard, paying a soft, started shaving away. Totally forgot I had neighbors with second stories. I'm pretty sure some of them saw me. And that's not the point of the story. The point <laughs> is, it's a lot of fun. You don't nick anything. It's shocking. Mm-hmm. It has an LED light as well. So sometimes at night, seeing that I don't have a loved one and I'm by myself in a quarantine, I like to turn the lights off and play Let's Find uh, the Penis. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Look, I have my hobbies, you have yours. And I'm a hopeless romantic. Oh my God. See, the reason I use Manscaped is because you can't give up hope, all my hopeless romantics out there. So you have to be prepared for the possibility that even in quarantine you could find love and you want to be prepared and not look nuts like puffins. And you too can be prepared. Our listeners get a, an extra 20% off mm-hmm. plus free shipping if you use promo code LION. That's promo code LION at manscaped.com Lion. for an extra 20% off plus free shipping. Do it now. Yeah. It's get perfect. weird. <laughs> weird <laughs> or just get soft down there <laughs> soft down there oh my speaking of friendship you want to do emails sure do we have to though no when are we going to talk about you're going to tell me something about britney spears oh yeah i forgot uh something's someone, going on with britney something someone sent us a sent us a britney thing where apparently there's could be potentially a lion in one of her fucking <laughs> she's listening things. so we're so some people are saying hey man i think she's listening she's maybe listening to detective jason <laughs> 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 You okay? <laughs> yeah, I just burnt my finger. That's on on the candle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I gotta find it. Hold it's on. I, actually, I'm, I have to... Oh, see? Look. It's a fucking lion. Boom. And what's hey. her caption? What's her caption? Sometimes it's better to stick your tongue out so you can breathe. Oh, Hashtag Friday mood. I mean... Like the and with, hey, our podcast comes out on Fridays. Are you under Lion's Den right now? What? No. This is hers. Oh, I'm saying like, are you signed into Lion's Den on this? No. I would say comment, comment right now. We should comment. I should. Mm-hmm. You know, let's get the name out on lines then. Wait, go down. I want to see that picture of her. Which one? This one? Keep going. Keep Over her hair lit on fire? Down. That, right in the middle. This one? In the black outfit. What's she doing? I mean... She's dancing again? Okay. Just dancing. She's so cute and everything, but with the little... No, I'm not going to say anything mean. I, actually, it's not mean. She's kind of shaped like a toddler. That sounds mean. Is it? it sounds mean. With the little... Well, because the head's a little big or something? The head's a little big, legs are short, little pot belly. Well, just, uh, yeah, just yeah, okay. A toddler, I mean, yeah. trying to get her on the show. Sure. <laughs> I think that's adorable. I yeah. think she's. Hey, I, Brittany, I you're so hot, crazy as a loon, hot as shit. <laughs> or she's silenced and she's normal. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Come on the den, tell well, us your we'll, story. We'll find out. Hey, share your truth. 
Mm-hmm. Did anybody comment on that, on that lion being like, hey, lion's den? Oh, Detective wish. Jason? Let's see. Somebody sent me a... People have been sending me shit with that. It's a cool-looking lion, though. It is. Well, this candle smells good after the burn. <laughs> you Burnt nothing, skin. Nothing feels. yet. No, yeah. I don't see any. Oh, well. Anyway. Somebody sent me something not too long ago and said, Jason... Uh, uh, hey, Detective Jason, I think she watches the lion's den. Yeah, I think that this is what this was. I think... I'm pretty sure it was the lion oh, thing. A remember. few people sent that in. Oh, fuck. I got my... I says, there's a comment that says lion's breath. I got my hopes up for a second. <laughs> We should have emailed. We should have could have been the lion's breath. Yeah, that's us. It's an NPR version of us. <laughs> Welcome back to the lion's breath. The lion's breath. Welcome back to lion's breath. Anyway, today we're the, going to okay. talk about how these. Okay, well, South she's, American there's some news lion. about her, by the way. I just saw this headline. A, f- a friend of mine, a neighbor Kyle, sent this to me. Britney Spears' lawyer likened her mental capacity to a comatose patient. It's kind of fucked up. Oh wow, that sucks. Yeah, that's weird. TMZ, ha, huh, shocker. Uh, the way the issue of Brittany, Brittany's declaration came up, her lawyer, Sam Ingram, told the judge Brittany does not want to perform again, while Ingram said Jamie is intent on Brittany resuming her career. That's so fucked up, because you know Jamie's yeah. her dad. Yeah. That's so crazy. That's sad. You're That's why the issue it. of hearsay came up, that Brittany hasn't told the, the judge in the declaration what she wants to do with her career, Brittany's lack of mental capacity to sign a sworn declaration in her conservatorship why are they saying that she isn't i mean i tell you man she's a prisoner prisoner of this whole thing free britney we'll now free her. we'll free her we'll get her out we're getting her out yeah we will she's talented she's talented and if she, and by the way if she doesn't want to perform again good for her it's not at all you yeah know? you already made it it's over you know, especially i mean it's not over if know? somebody's <laughs> i don't know what especially if someone else is getting the lion's share of her yep. income Ooh, hey word bullshit use. Mm-hmm. She should be getting it. Shut it down, uh, baby. Yeah, we'll comment on that lion picture. I said, come, come yeah. hang out in the den. Yeah, you're more than welcome. We got a very comfortable little couch over here. Mm-hmm. That you can slip and slide yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to accommodate whatever. Right. We would love to have her on. Really get to the bottom of this. I'd break the internet if we got her on. <laughs> Just after all that, we yeah. get Britney right? fucking Spears. Oh man, hilarious. Well, we're That's in great. your corner, Brit. We're right here. You, Daniel H. We got both of you guys. Mm-hmm. Come you on know, in. Megan Thee Stallion, even though we got canceled yep. from you. We, no, that was Cardi we're, B and her. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're on your sides, too. Nicki Minaj, you as well. Yeah. Captain Crooked Dick's video is still up. Yeah, Crooked Cock. Yeah. That's what the video's called? Yeah, Captain Crooked, crooked Croc. Yeah, croc. let's keep yeah. every episode. Let's keep bringing up that stupid thing I said so I that know. I... Wait, just, wait, the stupid thing. You know what's, wait, the stupid um, thing. Hooked how penis the, for the rest. Yeah, the stupid thing about how your penis hooks oh, up. All right, all right. About how you have Peroni. Hey. You know what's hilarious is... This is why I think that Big Brother's listening. The other day, a Peroni, com- a, per- a commercial for Peroni. You're kidding. Came on the television. You know those, for that? You know those medical commercials that always come on? And they always have very weird, unpronounceable, made-up names. Yeah. Lipoflavonoid. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. good for your <laughs> flappity dappities or whatever. <laughs> but like, Sky Rizzy. I'm like, when did yeah. Snoop come up with a medicine? <laughs> But like this, per, a, a Peroni awareness commercial <laughs> came. Peroni awareness, and I wanted to like send it. Oh you know, shit! Right. <laughs> For your flippity flappities. Yeah, <laughs> lipo zippo flappa though I believe. Oh well, <laughs> get your flippo flappa flappados. Good for your well, flippity you flappities. Or, right. What if you <laughs> order? Lipo flavonoid and just two little. Hello, I'm Lipo. Yeah. I'm flavonoid. <laughs> we're here to massage your flippity flappities. What am I flip? Oh, 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 it's like one little part on the back of your knee, and they just go whoa, 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 and you just orgasm for like ten hours. <laughs> oh, your taller hair grows out. Yeah. Oh, voice deeper. <gasps> oh my God, your flippity flappities are now extracted. <laughs> And then you're doing commercials as a, a you're, you know, you're you're doing your testimonial for the. Uh, before I knew what my flippity flappy was, <laughs> now I know. And look at me, just ripped, long hair, yeah. and you know, just a fucking stage wife and stage kids. And you're mm-hmm. like, go get the ball, son. Hi, I'm Brent Morin, <laughs> comedian actor. Before I got my flippity flappity stretched out, <laughs> I was a simple kind of lipo and flavonoid, <laughs> hurting my back at any chance. Not the tallest, but not the shortest. But now look at me. When the flippity flappity's extended, I'm 6'4", 180 pounds of solid muscle, two kids I didn't know I had showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> Love it. Get your flippity flappity's right. But yeah, I saw a commercial for that, and I was like, motherfuckers, is lit. People, it's, it's it so is weird. weird. I, get, I got worried last night because I was 
watching uh what was i watching oh i was watching the new fargo Oof, so fucking good. oh i haven't watched three yet so good but um uh i started thinking oh a chevy commercial came on i was like uh and these are listening to us yeah because the volume's on and it's the new chevy commercial i was like oh and i was like oh look, the fucking new tahoe is dope looking oh uh, commercial was almost over <coughs> and then i went like this and opened my instagram the first ad that came up was for the new chevy tahoe it's crazy wild I was like, what is that? When we were here last time, remember we were talking about we we're making a joke about Walmart, and then we look at a YouTube video. The first ad is Walmart. Walmart, huh? yeah. Mm-hmm. Telling I'm you, scared. I know, and it's just random things. A friend of mine bought her mama an Alexa, and she hadn't set it up yet. And she said that the Alexa, she had asked the Alexa something. Alexa, are you ready or something? And the Alexa said, "I'm just listening right now, getting to know you." Hmm. Or well, not? Back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good idea we're not ready yet driving to a lake <laughs> I can't wait to see all the e-bikes I'm going to get on my phone wait to the Alexa <laughs> throwing it in the lake and then as you throw it, you go why would you do that huh <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that new Buick commercial I'm gonna now oh there's my a phone. I know there's a Buick commercial where the guy's like how do you like my new Alexa she's like this is a Buick he goes oh really Alexa turn off the outside porch light Okay, great, but it's a Buick. He goes, oh, it's an Alexa, and because now Alexa's in the fucking car. Wow! And then they pull up to the restaurant, and the girl, the waitress, goes, "Wow, that's a nice Buick." And then the other guy, waitress, goes, "It's an Alexa." That is so weird. Yeah. It's so disrespectful. It's also weird Buick. how I have the commercial memorized because <laughs> it's on so fucking much. <laughs> that's good. Uh, they got you. It worked. It got me, man. Want to do emails? Emails. Whatever. Emails. I said you want to do emails, emails or emails. Or <laughs> I want to do emails. I want to do that. It's very cute animal, emu. I don't know the difference between an emu and, a, and a, an ostrich. I don't know the difference Whoa. between an alpaca and a llama. That's the same thing, I think. They got to be the same. Alpaca and llama are kind of the same. Look up emu and ostrich. Those fuckers are the same. Good luck with emu. Right? I mean, it's E M U. That's all I got. Emu. Eastern Michigan University or a bird. They're that thing. These guys. Look at that guy. Oh man, I really thought an emu was something else. And now, what does an ostrich else. look like? It's like the same. I really had a different idea of what an emu was in my. You head. thought of like a goat or some shit, right? I thought of like almost like a, a anteater looking thing. Ostrich is oh. easy. <laughs> See, it's very yeah, similar. Yeah, they're, they're very similar. But if somebody said, "Is that an ostrich or an emu?" I'd be like, "I don't fucking know. They're both long necked, scary birds." Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine what, if you woke up and just saw this? <laughs> First thing in the morning. Look at that thing. Hi. Well, hello. Wake up. Hi. Wake up. And then it just we're here for you, flippity flappity. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> lipo and flavonoid. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm sorry for distracting. Okay. What are you talking about? We're having fun. We're gigging. No, I, we are on a tight schedule. And, yeah. And, and, yeah our, guys, and our producers are, are, are on a tight the schedule. powers that be, the higher ups, if you will, <laughs> will get very upset if we go over on time. Yeah. Wow. This is a, an old, uh, by the way, I want to shout out like DMs because we get DMs sometimes and I always forget to shout them out. So oh, let's just shout it. out this uh, Elvira. She said, uh, hello, I just wanted to say I'm Elvira. a huge fan of TLD from 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 podcast to YouTube. So funny. I tell awesome. all my friends about it. I'm a Thank huge you. fan of Brent. My sister and I seen Thank and I man. seen him in the Thank Comedy Works man. Denver. Uh, Love the show on Dateable. Also, Jason was there too. So oh, funny. Cool. I'm a side so note. Funny. <laughs> I'm so funny. She said, she said so funny. And on oh, episode okay. number 43, Netflix took down the movie Love. So mad. Anyways, love TLD. Keep it up. Oh, they did? Guys, the best podcast. What if when she said wow. so funny, she meant so funny that I was there? <laughs> oh. wow. Jason was there. So funny. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. They uh, took down Love. I didn't know that. What yeah, I heard that, too. Oh, the porn Again, that we Yeah, the porn. They probably heard it. The one that we was... forced Will to watch? Yeah. And we were going to get canceled because of? Because yeah, Will's going to be like, they made me watch the... I did... Actually, I did not <laughs> watch that so many, so many, so many times. <laughs> um, <laughs> she was good. Yeah, I finished it. I finished it. Was, it. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> had a lot of free time. <laughs> yeah, the movie... Wasn't there a series called Love, too? Like a comedy? Yeah, yeah. I know. My phone just started... My phone just started showing me advertisements for hand jobs. <laughs> After that movie, <laughs> you could tell I got excited or cheating about cheating husbands. Saying that. Yeah, just cheating husbands and hand jobs, low lit hand one, jobs. <laughs> what's that one cheating site that you could join? Uh, uh, Ashley Madison, Madison. Ashley Madison. Ashley Hamilton. <laughs> Ashley Hamilton. I know Ashley. Hamilton. I know. Remember him? <laughs> He's a buddy of ours. Yeah, we haven't seen him in years. Ashley Madison. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Come man. and cheat our wife. What a blast! Wife, past. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that Ashley Hamilton. I thought Ashley Madison was like an escort. Yeah, service. something happened with them. Isn't Wasn't like that one of the Madden people who's? They their their clientele list got like leaked. It wasn't like a thing. 
I mean, l- allegedly, well, not allegedly. This is literally what they say. It's a, it's a, um, a Canadian online dating service and social huh. networking service marketed to people who are married or in a relationship. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> and there's the cheating. And, there and there's the cheating. In black and white. Yep, got it. Wow. Yeah. Didn't read the finish. I always thought finished. it was like that madam I was like, oh, it's a, just thing. A, yeah, 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 yeah. That Hollywood was all about. Oh, gosh. And I'm so not in the know of that shit. Hmm. That was a good dim. Good dim. Do we have another dim? Uh, that was the only one I made. I wanted to read. Uh, that's that's like, just like a straight up shout out. So yeah, DM us if you want. We'll read them. We'll read them. This is an older. We've two I think older emails that I wanted to get to just to give them some love. This is from Devin. Uh, subject line is coincidences or messages from beyond. We, we oh, went on a nice ghost tangents for a while, so well, it's, it's kind of back in. It's October. Ghost. It is getting spooky. Oh, that's so. true. I watched a scary ass movie last night. I mean, what? no, it's in. I can't remember what it was called. Nicholas Cage was in it, and his son got like kidnapped by demons. On Halloween at this carnival in New York City, it's a whole thing. But go, hey, okay, I got to talk about it because I'm a little high and it was weird as shit. Yeah. So I mean, that sounds like something I want to see so bad. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I watched it. Nicholas Cage is good in it. Uh, there's a sh- series that I'm watching on Apple Plus called Defending Jacob. Mm. The woman that plays the mom in that is the mom in this movie. She's fucking great. She's beautiful and she's a good actress. Uh, basically, there's there's th- this couple. It's it's it takes place nowadays. It's they live in New York City. It looks like they've the village, and they, they take their little boy trick or treating. The, the the little boy wants dad to come home on time, Nicholas Cage to take him trick or treating. Dad is late getting home, so he surprises his son when they get back from trick or treating. Like I'm here already, and I'm in a costume, and yeah. The mom's pissed because she's a woman. And she says, too late, fucker. We're going in the house or whatever. And then he's like, please, let me let me take him out. To, let me just take him by the carnival. The kid wants to... There's this Halloween carnival going on a block away that you could see in here. And he's like, can we please go? And they're like, eh, it's a little older. And Nicolas Cage's character dad goes, just let me take him for a little bit. They're like, okay. So he takes him there. He's got him on his shoulders. Meanwhile, they're seeing weird shit. For some reason, there's vultures flying around New York City. Oh, God. And uh, this... That he puts the kid down at a food truck and is holding his hand. Millisecond, he lets go of the kid's hand and he's gone. Oh! Meanwhile, the kid before all this was before he got taken was seeing visions of like this crazy old school witch thing. Basically, back in back in the olden times, this woman uh, and her children got burned at the stake, and the okay. woman vowed revenge. Said, "I'm gonna come back." So every Halloween, she would come back and kidnap a kid and take him into this spirit world or whatever. Anyways. Uh, here's the weird part. There's this Wiccan symbol that the, uh, there's this one scene where the mom is kind of possessed and she's carving the symbol into her arm. Uh-huh. And then they go into the history of the symbol and they learn about what it is and it has to do with Wiccan. It's like a two, two crescent moons and a round thing in the middle. And I was like, oh, wow, that's witch shit. So today, before I came to the, to do the podcast, I stopped at uh, Starbucks. The girl at working at Starbucks, first of all, the darkest eye makeup I've ever seen, <laughs> right? And she's got her her mask is is silver, and and on one side there's a pentagram. Oh wow! And on the other side there's this fucking symbol from the movie, <laughs> from the scary movie. Oh boy! And I'm like, I go, I just watched a movie with that in it. She goes, Was it about witches? I'm like, y- Yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, coffee. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You know? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. She Let goes, me give what, you what, what, Did it take? She was into it though. She's like, Did it take place like? back in time where I go no it was like a current she goes oh then that's not the movie I'm thinking about I'm like, oh okay oh, we're Wiccan. sure there's okay. something you're thinking about oh, all the time Wiccan oh. I don't even know why I started talking who's about on that. my schedule today I was like oh, oh yeah. Roberta oh fuck damn it <laughs> Roberta. hey Roberta I know that we are, we got in trouble for asking you not to wear the Black Lives Matter yeah. <laughs> mask but please don't wear the Wiccan mask yeah. and can you <laughs> stop bringing your cauldron to make the goddamn lattes <laughs> <laughs> your ice latte is coming up <laughs> Roberta, <laughs> stop Sorry. with the laughing. Oh, Sorry, I'm Wiccan. The creepy laughing. What could I could I get you? Don't say the pumpkin spice latte. Do oh, not say the pumpkin called? spice latte. I'm gonna find out what that movie. <laughs> yeah, how did you do that, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Starbucks. Uh, ready to scare the living shit out of you. You'll be cursed <laughs> if you get the pumpkin spice latte. Right? Wait, Jay, I'll find. I'll find. I'm right here. Don't bother doing that. Oh. But you found it? Well, I, I have it all here. Look, I have his IMDb literally pulled up. So I, I can't bother. remember yeah, where I watched stuff it. Stuff that though. I'll watch. I can't remember if I watched it on. I mean, look, here's literally the whole list right here. Oh, I watched it on. Uh, it's a very pretty recent movie. I watched yeah, it I on. Know. I believe I watched it on uh, Prime. Prime I mean, Video. Pick. I mean, Grand Isle, Primal, Kill Chain, Running with the Devil, Color Out of Space, A Score Run- to Settle. These are all so Running with the Devil, maybe. So many movies. You don't remember what's called? Go from the most recent. This is. That's what I'm doing. Did my mic go out? Because I just hit it with the ice pad. Damn it. (laughs) These are all the recent ones. Oh, are they? Or or 
Is it something which? Prisoners of the Ghost Land. Is it that That's one? Doctor no. Sorry. It's so funny that, that Jay, sounds... the movies Jason watches, they're the most violent, fucking know, horrific movies. Like, okay, it's just that and then a I can't, politic right, well, channel. Should we, should we go to his email? I want to yeah, know what movie that was. I want to know. I, the people at home want to know. Color of Space, Kill, Primal. I'm going to guess. Go up, up, up to the 19th. These, are not, the 20th. these okay. aren't These aren't in. Un- they're wait, all filming. Okay, Pig. <laughs> pig? <laughs> Is that a movie called Pig? Uh, Primal, Keep Going, Kill Chain, Running with... A score to down. settle? You said she wanted revenge. No? Between Looking Glass? Mandy? Mandy, dark. dark. Dark? Now we're into 2017. Could be the, it could be around here. It could be dark. Inconceivable. Mom and Dad. Army of One. Vengeance, a love story. Wow. To trust? He, pray the ghost? He's gotten so many. Well, he's pay got the a, ghost. That's what it's called. Pay the ghost? That's what it's called because you're, the kid at one point, they, he, he saw that graffiti on the wall pay the ghost and then bef- right before he was taken and his dad was paying for his ice cream he looked up at his dad with his blank stare on his face he went dad can we pay the ghost and he went what huh? and then the kid disappeared and, he go- and I would have been like god that little uh, freak is out of my life <laughs> <laughs> that little- I like how this is the movie you chose to watch dude it just I sometimes when I wa- here's why I watch movies like this because we are so flooded and bombarded with everything yeah. that's happening in 2020 right now mm-hmm. give me a movie yeah. that i don't even really have to think yep. yeah give me a movie where i can just watch it like this <laughs> uh, okay cool. but it scared you right it, but it's good and scary and i right, wanted good. it to be spooky i want to be because spooked. i'm a traditional guy yeah. and i wanted it to be spooky because of october so cute the way you say spooky and i actually want that too because i realized the summer kind of blew us by because we weren't thinking about it mm-hmm. and that's why i love shout out for the pumpkin that i'm like you know what brent for this for for thanksgiving for christmas gotta watch things around it you know what i mean like like give myself the sense of like the world's still moving you know really really good that was such a stone thing i just said so these these edibles have something or whatever this mint watch that movie pay the ghost let's see what devin says so he says devin from uh toronto here again yes jason you say it right the second t is silent so toronto 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 Toronto. Mm -hmm. i'll try to keep this short as possible here's why i say it right because when I was in Toronto, I kept saying Toronto, and everybody was like, hey, man, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> that second T sounds ridiculous. <clears throat> Toronto. So this is a bit of a weird email, but episode 58 really stood out to me. My father passed away 10 years ago on August 28th. So, this, it, so it was yeah. the anniversary of his passing on the day you released that what episode. What date was that? August what? August 28th. Wow, it's really close to my dad. So it was the anniversary of his passing on the day you released the episode. Also, mm-hmm. 58 happened to be his favorite number. Huh. That's weird. Weird. That's but it's more cool. than that. It pops up in my life and his all the time. It was his limo number when he drove airport limousines in his 20s. It was the home address of some very important people in his life. He was in room 158 in the hospital when he was sick, and there's so many more random times that I can't remember, including now, Hmm. including now this podcast. Um, but but the weir- most weird occurrence was about five years ago. My mother and I were cleaning up around his grave on his birthday, and there was a piece of paper in the dirt. I immediately knew what it was. It was a bus transfer, and up here are public transit tr- transfers say that eight times fast our public transit transfers public are numbered transfer are numbered by day this transfer was on the 58th day of the year Oof. his favorite number the one that pops up all the time on, and it a was by his piece grave. Of, on a random piece of paper in the dirt around his grave this was april and the 58th day of the year is february 27th oh, which man. happens to be one of his best friend's birthdays who just lost her mother one week before that day coincidence or message either way i was shook so wow. my question is have any of you experienced something similar with numbers Hmm. With numbers, it's a hell of a story, no. Way. But wow, that's incredible. Yeah, wow. I have one. My grandmother died, my mom's mom, and we all went to Vegas like about four or five months after that or something. Mm-hmm. And her favorite number was, my mom's going to email me and say I got this wrong, but her favorite number is 24. And, Let's just say for the sake of the story. And, and I stayed in room 2424. Wow. And before I went down to the pool, I was with buddy Matt Gagne, and I said, I, I'm going to put $100 on 24. And I put $100 on roulette 24 and it hit. Ooh, wow. <laughs> and I Damn. said, we got to go tell my mom because she'll love this. You know, That's amazing. Catholic. Here's the thing with the number. So that was a creepy one I had once. Wow. That, <laughs> yeah. A lot of people Lost study all like, that money immediately, yeah. by the way. But. Yeah. A lot of people study numerology. I bet you there are things in my life if I paid more attention. Yeah. Like I didn't pay. If I'm, I don't pay attention to that. Yeah, and I've had people go, "Whoa, that's crazy!" and and point it out to me about things in my life where that, oh, that number means this and this, and that's your number. Like, apparently, my numerology number is three. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't my know brother either. can explain it because he has a big three tattoo on his arm. And um, yeah, I don't know what that. And means. It, there's there's a lot of significance with that, and it, and it has something to do with the numbers, the way they add up on your birthday or something. Hmm. 
like my birthday is um, January 11th so one and two ones is a three uh, something like stuff mm. like that yeah people really yeah. can break that down but that I remember just because I was it was about me and involved money I think that's but crazy. I really but I just remember 24 Dude, 24 was... and then 24 so I was like you know what I gotta put 24 down it's big a hundred dollars on it it's big I obviously had a cocktail so I did that and then how, much you, how much did you win I mean that's I think that's like fifteen hundred or something. Yes, <laughs> like 50, no, it's it was a great amount. Yeah, for a hundred bucks you got hundred bucks. That's great. And it just hit, and I said, "You for you, Grandma, come on, Grandma." And everybody that's was amazing. watching, and then it just hit. That's fucking amazing. That's like a movie. <laughs> His grandma was watching, going, "I don't want this guy to look like an idiot in front of everybody." All right. <laughs> and then of course, what happens is later that night, because that was daytime. Later that night, the sauce is kicking in, and you go twenty four. Yeah, it's like and lost. 24 again. <laughs> Grandma, what are you sleeping? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and just to finish it off, Devin had a really nice PS. Um, a poor got something. Mm -hmm. Jason, I always connect with you when you talk about losing your dad, and I sincerely appreciate your honesty. Uh, you, and Brent, when you talk about your mental health, I've struggled with anxiety for years. Uh, I think more of us, especially men, have to be willing to talk about yeah. these things. So I commend you on your openness to do so. It's a part of what makes this podcast great. Awesome. Thank you. And, yeah. crying. and maybe and emotional. Crying. Yeah, we both, uh, <laughs> by the way, we both lost our dads in August. My dad was August 19th. You lost you. You two lost your dads. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was August yeah. twenty something. He said, mm -hmm. "Yeah, August twenty eighth." Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks. August, he lost him on August fifty eighth. <laughs> August fifty. August fifty. This next email is from Ashley. This is uh, on being going being a solo going out to eater. Oh, We've got, I love the, the first response. The the people who didn't listen, it was uh, Brent went out to eat by himself and had a, had a time and had gave some some good secrets on how to get some free shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hi y'all. I just wanted to weigh in on the topic of dining out alone. I was a, this is Ashley by the way. I was a server uh, and a bartender for over ten years. A majority of that time was spent in a busy romantic Italian restaurant in one of the most prominent neighborhoods in Boston. Not only can I speak mm -hmm. to single diners, I also can speak to the daters and countless feeble attempts to make inhaling linguine a an aphrodisiac. <laughs> I mean, so smart the way the sentence is read. Yeah. Like, so many words. Aphrodisiac. Right in the north end. And add in a wine buzz and you both look like robins trying to fight a restless worm for sustenance. I mean, well, and what? Hemingway. Hey, guess what I, you are, beautiful actually. Beautiful fucking writer. You're a wordsmith. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Anyways, as she for... She took me there. And yeah. Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As for dining alone, you would not believe the amount of people who would do it. And guess what? Nobody dining in the restaurant cares. They are usually too self-absorbed in their own space to notice. Pause likely for Jason rant on Instagram foodies, restaurant selfies, general general merriment, etc. I mean, some of these words, uh, merriment? Yeah, merriment. Yeah, I love probably it. went to Harvard. It's amazing. Uh, not once did myself or coworkers ever think of a single diner, mu quote, must not have any friends, maybe they got stood up, uh, end quote. In fact, it's more of a, quote, love the confidence and they don't always yeah. need the company of others to indulge or hit the town. Which is what it is for me. Yeah, I don't really totally. give a shit. Yeah. I've met some other... Yeah, me too. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I've met some of the coolest people in my life from interacting with solo diners. Uh, made some fun local friends, gave advice, visited, visited some out-of-towners and their livelihoods when I visit when I went to their city. Even got a date or two out of it as a result. Oh. Well, now the shit, I, you yeah. know, to sit down in a nice Italian restaurant like, why don't you take a seat for a second? Right. <laughs> Like the eating like, bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have to we'll go down and we'll go see. And then see. He, he like walks back. He's like, and she's like, we're Robins. <laughs> Let's both eat the worm. The no. merriment. <laughs> merriment. Right? I guess. Uh, sure. <laughs> now that I have a job that's primarily travel, LOL, remember traveling? Uh, I'm so fortunate I had that previous experience. Otherwise, I don't know, as a single person that I'd have that confidence. But seeing it from the other side, believe me, nobody cares. It beats yeah. staying at home all the time or being holed up, held up, holed up in a hotel room. Hold Do up, it and up. go enjoy your life. You're missing out otherwise. And hold Brent, up is probably. And Brent, maybe next time just get the penne. Get the penne, dude. Yeah, I know. Well, you know. Can I, I tell you, that's, get one get of the things my I, that's one of the all things right. I miss <laughs> most about road road gigs. Yeah. Is finding that local restaurant and going by my damn self. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Oh. Man, I, I miss that. it. That's a that was a great email. That was that was very yeah. beautiful. Man, yeah. that's a scary look oh, at what was that? Yeah, Dahmer I don't, and I don't uh, know what this is. So this is from Kevin. Well, hello. Um, I guess subject, I bet that's Kevin on the, the right. Subject line is well, since Brent looks like a fucking killer, my brother snapped. What? I don't know. <laughs> Must have been something we talked about weeks ago. This okay. was a while yeah. ago. Um, uh, my brother snapped this pic of me a few years back and did this side by side. <laughs> oh, that's Brent hilarious. just got so. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, we forget the shit we say. I know. I have no idea. I definitely. Wow, that that's his brother side by side with the old. That's Body hilarious. Eater with the man eater himself, yeah. Dominic. 
<laughs> Don't make him He's sound a man cool. Eater. The glasses and everything. That's wild. All right. Well, thanks, Kevin. That's, that's wow. That's a great photo. Why? Why is yours creepier than Dahmer's stuff? I, know. I, know. <laughs> I love that he has the, the the sunglasses at the ready on top of his head there. Well, I don't think we've heard from this guy before. John, uh, and just because he said, don't fuck it up, Will, I'm going to try it now. John okay. Paveza, whatever. Subject line is fatty habits from a for- from a former thick boy. Uh, uh, John <laughs> from Chicago here. Love the pod. Uh, started listening a month ago from episode one, and I'm finally caught up. Episode 66. Started nice. listening uh, That's awesome. because of Brent and Jason after seeing them live at the Chicago Improv. Uh, please come back when the Rona is over. Wow, that was a while ago. Gosh, that was... And I've come to tolerate Willie. <laughs> Anyways, my fatty <laughs> habit... Yeah, right. Uh, anyways, my fatty habit growing up would be taking a bowl of a bowl of Oreos, mm, nice. smashing them, and then pouring milk over it, eating it like cereal. I mean, that's actually that's <laughs> kind of sounds kind of great. Kind of great. <laughs> hey, that sounds like yummy sludge. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> yummy Give me sludge. Some of that yummy sludge. That's what he calls it. I'm going to get wow. a yummy sludge. What is it? Well, there's what you do. <laughs> it is. You um, take Oreos, smash them in a bowl, milk. Whole milk. I don't fuck with that non-fat, and I pour <laughs> it over. I don't fuck with get that a nice non-fat. thick soup going. Man, <clears throat> I also used to come home after school and eat a whole Jack's pizza, and then oh. eat dinner about an hour and a half later. <laughs> oh. Those are just two of my many fatty habits that made me into the seven, 270 pound man I became. Chicago might Jack's. need to yeah, might need to write in again to list more of them for you guys. Keep up. That's the good great. Work. Love John. Good Thanks, for you. John. You lived in Chicago for a while, right? I did. Do you know of a Jack's Pizza? I don't remember. Hmm. That sounds like a frozen pizza. It, it's a frozen oh, actually, pizza yeah. thing that I think, uh, I, the only reason I know is because Barstool, Dave uh, Portnoy did it on pizza yeah, reviews, right. okay. and he really ripped it apart because oh, he was trying he? to get a free pizza from every place to send him free pizza uh, during okay. COVID. Like, fro- it's a frozen pizza place, and they wouldn't send him one, so then when the, a bunch of fans sent him one, he really ripped him apart and gave him like a low, yeah. low score, like I Why think a 0. 0.6. Thick boy that way? B-O-I. Oh, is that a Brennan Shop thing? Potentially, yeah. yeah it's it also, be, I yeah. see Cigar with that too. Yeah, yeah it's kind of a thing now. I think Thick it's a brand. Two Yo, I'm so gangster, I misspell shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. We're an hour, do you want to? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Yeah. That, That's good. That was fun. That was fun. Let's, uh, let's, let's lean back into this mint we took. Yeah. And just like ride it, baby. Let's ride it. How are you feeling? I don't know. Oh, the thing came out. <laughs> yeah, it came out. Can I feel it? Yeah. Is it's it still cold? Oh, it's, yeah, it's still cold. Oh, it's still cold. This was on Brent's back. You get a time. little heat in there. Mm. All right. Well, shit. Mm. Um, <laughs> you guys want to sign off? Or are we just yeah, kind of floating forgot, off into the distance? <laughs> well, we love you guys. I'm too we'll... high. <laughs> too high. <laughs> cannot touch the sky. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Man. We are friends, digging each other.